Hi everyone, welcome back to the MedSpeed podcast. My name is Christian Foster and I'm a second year medical student at the UE Mona campus. And in this podcast, I interview persons in the healthcare field, specifically in the Caribbean, to share their experiences, advice, and overall perspective of the healthcare field. In today's episode, episode four, I am interviewing Paige Power, a second year dental student who currently attends the University of Technology in Jamaica, and she will give us a little in a little insight into her life as a dental student. So before I get into the actual interview, I just want to state that I stumbled upon Paige's um, YouTube videos in my recommendations and I noticed that her content was similar to mine, just, you know, um, showing the experience of medical school and, and that medical field within the Caribbean. And immediately I was hooked on her videos and I'm hooked on her journey um, in dentistry. So I was I was super excited when I reached out to her and she, she agreed to this podcast. So thank you so much for coming on the podcast page. You're welcome. And thank you as well for having me. All right. So... For the very first question, I'm pretty sure you would have anticipated me asking this, but um, what was your number one reason for pursuing dentistry? Honestly, I said this in a video, um, in a previous video that I had my insecurities about my teeth and all of that, and I got past those insecurities. And I think that other pe- there are other persons out there who have the same insecurities about their smile. And I think that I would like to help more people with these insecurities Mm -hmm. okay that's that's really interesting um so this one kind of ties into this question um but i want to ask what was your reason for pursuing dental school at utec specifically as opposed to the uedds program um honestly i wanted to go to ue Mm -hmm. i wanted to go to ue but i wasn't accepted so i just chose UTEC instead and mm-hmm. I heard that UTEC um they give you more practice you start practicing from first year so I think that I'm I made um a good choice so it worked out in the end because yes. I noticed from your videos I saw you in a lab and I, I found that very confusing because because the way it is um the DDS program is mixed. You, I, I think you would know that, but the DDS program is mixed with MBBS here at, the, at UE. And they only start doing clinical stuff very late into the summer of the first year. And I noticed you were already doing, like when you did your recap video, you, had a, you were doing a bunch of stuff early into your first year. So I guess, yeah. you know, there's a big benefit there for you. So that's interesting. So, um, so this question is kind of in two parts. Um, it's like a pros and cons question, but I'm going to ask firstly, what would you say are some of your favorite aspects of the dental program that you're doing right now? So it could be in terms of anything, courses, class, anything. What's your favorite aspects of the program? I think that knowing that I'll be able to help someone in the future, mm-hmm. that's a pro. Mm-hmm. And then the con of it is that it's, it's expensive, very expensive. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, because I was going to ask, like, what are some of your biggest pet peeves? Like, and tying into that as well, what would you say is something that you would like to see improved in the future in your program? You couldn't even, it, like, and in the future, I mean, like, the near future. So a couple of years to tomorrow, whatever. Um, hmm. I think that UTEC can be disorganized at times. So, for instance, this sem- last semester, Mm-hmm. I didn't do one of my courses because they didn't have a lecturer. So I think that wow. certain things need to be put in place so that we can do all the courses that we need to get done. Mm-hmm. So you t- can be more organized. Okay. All right. Okay. That's interesting. I mean, the same thing here. We always have hiccups. Like we would be eager for a class and then a lecturer would just not show up. And it's just there's just things that some of it we cannot control but yeah I guess that's that comes with coming to the Caribbean programs and doing medicine and dentistry yeah. but um so gonna go away a little bit away from school and I'm gonna ask you what motivated you to start creating content after your first year because I noticed you didn't really create content within your first year it's when you entered your second year so what was that motivate what was that push for you well, in first year, I didn't have any help 
um, I didn't have any help. I didn't have any source I could look at to say, okay, this is what dental school is like. And I said that I want to be able to help persons with this journey. I want to share my experience with others that, so they know what they're getting into. Sometimes we get into stuff and we don't really know what exactly it's like. So mm -hmm. I, I think that's why I started YouTube. Mm. Yes, because I would say that as much as medical school is underrepresented in the Caribbean, it's not as much as dentistry. Like I never came across yeah. dental students um, um, until like I came across your channel. And I think it's extremely, like, I just want to say like genuinely, I hope you never stop creating content because like we literally need that type of raw representation. Like you show every aspect of it. So I really appreciate, I appreciate your content for that. Thank you. All right, no problem. All right, so I want to ask you, how has COVID affected learning um, in dental school? How has it affected you? Well, I don't... And Okay, I could ask, has COVID affected you? I don't think it has. Okay. I don't think, I'm, I'm not used to going in um, for classes. Okay. Just are practicals. Okay. So okay. I don't think it has affected me in any way. Okay. All right. I, I that's interesting because most people I ask them and they immediately say I miss in-person school and stuff. But I guess you would have been coming straight from um from high school, right? Yes. Ah, okay. That that makes sense because a few of my friends like um I met them in Zytec. So we had a little bit of experience before we started oh, medical it's, school. It's yeah. So okay. we have that that comparison. We can say, wow, I really miss face-to-face um, -face school and stuff but but yeah that, that's interesting to know um so I want to ask um and I I guess it's not really talked about much especially because I'm a medical student um so do you want to specialize in once you are done because I typically ask the, the medical students this so do you want to specialize once you're done with dental school and if you do what dental subspecialty do you want to pursue Yes, I do. I definitely want to specialize in orthodontics. Okay, okay. So that's like braces and those yes, type of things? Yes, yes, yes. Okay, okay. That's interesting. That's nice. All right. So I want to ask you, um, out of all the courses that you've covered thus far, um, what would you say is your favorite, like all aspects of it? Why would, why would you say that one was your favorite course? Even though it was hard, I'd say gross and not on me. I just find it very interesting. <laughs> it, it is hard to remember all the stuff, but yeah, I think sure. it's interesting. It is interesting. Okay, Learning okay. about different parts of the body apart from the teeth and how <laughs> they relate. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. So, you all have already learned a lot of dental anatomy? Yes, we learned dental anatomy in the first year okay 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 that's interesting then I don't know I really like anatomy I would say I love like I, I genuinely I genuinely love anatomy but locomotors because I don't know if they call it that at your school what was the name of the course the general anatomy it's just called gross, gross anatomy, gross anatomy okay, yeah well our, at our school they call it um locomotor musculoskeletal and okay. I, it was nice but it was I find it was really dense like it was just at times it was just too much for me so yes. like so far I would say my favorite course was cardiovascular I, have you all covered cardiovascular already yes we did yeah we cardiovascular did. by far was my favorite just all aspects especially the anatomy I really liked it so that's interesting I, I don't know many people who say locomotor I know people like their microbes and stuff like that yeah all right, so um, I'm going to ask you, what are you looking forward to most in the upcoming years of your dental school journey? So this could be clinical dentistry, learning surgical skills, learning lab skills, and patient encounters. What, what are you looking forward to the most? I'm looking forward to clinical years where I can interact with the patients, knowing that all my practice, I'm able to put it. And apply it. In, yes, apply it. All right, so um, could you like give a breakdown of like how, like, so when are you going to be actually starting your clinical training? I believe it is the 
third semester of third year. Okay, so could you give a timeline of when that is? Because for us, that is mm -hmm. from May to August. From May to August. Oh, this year. No, or would it be next year? It would be next year. Next year. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's interesting. But I would, I suppose, you would still cover a good amount of clinical um, dentistry throughout that period. Like you would still have your labs and and whatnot. Yes. All right. Would. Okay. Okay. That's interesting. Um, so um, we were coming to the end. Pretty short interview, but um, mm -hmm. um, I wanted to ask you what would you say is a bit of advice that could have helped you tremendously before you applied to dental school and um, some advice that would have helped you during your first year of dentistry? Well, in high school, I wasn't really organized. So I wish I knew that I had to stay organized throughout <laughs> dental school because if you're not, you can easily forget about a test, an assignment. Mm -hmm. So being organized being is organized. very important. Okay. Yeah. And like, okay, so let's say um, you, could, you could go to yourself. You could literally be like, go to the, the first year version of yourself. What's like something like in a specific course that you would tell yourself to do apart from organization? Could you repeat the question? Okay, so I'm basically asking you. It's, it's similar to what I, you, you basically answered it, but I just wanted to know, like, if you could, like, basically, the second year version of yourself could go to the first year version of yourself and give yourself some advice for a course that you may have maybe not performed the best, what would you do? What would you say, apart from organization? Oh, stop procrastinating. <laughs> 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 yeah, I think I procrastinated a lot. I put off things until the last minute. So I think that if I was studying beforehand, then I would probably get a better grade on certain tests. Yeah, so, yeah. That, that definitely catches me as well. Like they always say, especially because of how heavy the content is in medical school, but I guess dentistry as well. Yes. They always say to just start early. I think that's just general advice, but for some reason you think like you have this superhuman ability to cover the content <laughs> later on it's yeah. just not possible like you have to i think what people underestimate is how much they retain earlier on like people think oh i'm gonna forget it later down the road but when you think about it if you're constantly revising the material it's yes. more likely to remain in your brain as opposed to you cramming it towards the end so yeah, that's that's some sort of advice even last semester we did um digestive system we covered heavy courses. We covered endocrine, digestive, cardiovascular. Mm. But for some reason, digestive was just on another level. I don't know why. And no matter what I say, just start studying early. I just couldn't. Like, I, I was just like, Ugh, it's digestive. I'll just leave it for it. And boy, that exam was <laughs> tough. So yes. yeah, I would definitely tell myself to have started from, literally from that first week, they give you the course material, just cover it literally. start studying and cover yeah. it over with material yeah 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 all right so Paige that brings us to the end of this interview I'm so excited um to you know share this with people um I just want to say um y'all can go over to Paige's channel check out her content her content is extremely interesting and she posts regularly unlike me so <laughs> so yes once again thank you so much for being on my podcast Paige Thank you for having me.